The Russian military is escalating its attacks on civilians as we enter day seven of the invasion of Ukraine, but the Ukrainian resistance is also intensifying. Fox's Greg Palcott reports from London. Another deadly day in Ukraine with Russian forces reportedly targeting civilians in greater numbers as they advance on major cities. There have been at least six missile and cluster bomb attacks on residential areas, including Ukraine's Holocaust Memorial, prompting strong condemnation from world leaders and Ukraine's president. This is beyond humanity. They know nothing about our capital, about our history. They have orders to erase our history, our country, and all of us. Much of the fighting now centered on Kharkiv, Ukraine's second biggest city. Ukrainian officials say at least 2,000 civilians have lost their lives, while some 9,000 Russian soldiers have been either captured or killed. President Biden is stepping up the economic pressure, banning all Russian flights from U.S. airspace. He says that move, along with crippling sanctions, will have a significant impact on the Russian economy. The ruble has already lost 30 percent of its value. The Russian stock market has lost 40 percent of its value, and trading remains suspended. The Russian economy is reeling, and Putin alone is the one to blame. Meanwhile, a 40-mile-long Russian military convoy remains stalled about 17 miles north of Kyiv. But officials say some Russian troops are continuing their advance, and the city's defenders are digging in for what could be a prolonged fight for the capital. The enemy is pulling its troops closer to the capital. We are getting ready, and we will defend our city. The Kremlin says its demands haven't changed, but hopes to resume ceasefire talks with Ukrainian officials on Wednesday. In London, Greg Palcott, Fox News.